welcome to my video. So today this video is going to be about a cook sketch that I did on my watercolor paper. Actually it's a mixed media paper from Canson. Um, so this is a photo that I took from the African Lion Safari in Toronto. And I'm not actually too sure what the two animals are. They look like house. <laughs> so right now I'm just doing the preliminary sketch. So I did this with a mechanical pencil. You just have to block in the shapes for the background and obviously for the animals I went darker with a little bit more detail. And this is the second animal, it's standing in front of the first, so draw the one in the background first and then put the one in front in. At this point, I also went to the background to darken some of the trees. And at the very back, actually, there was a fence um, where the animal was enclosed, but I didn't want to put that in. So this is after I've lightened the graphite sketch with a needable eraser. It's actually blue tack, and it works pretty well. Uh, afterwards, I realized the proportions of the face of the of the deer and the cow. Let's just call them the deer and the cow. Uh, wasn't correct because the face was a little bit too big. So I went back to fix that. At the drawing stage, the proportions have to be correct, otherwise it's very difficult to correct it afterwards, especially working with watercolors. You're not really able to use white paint on top to erase or to correct any mistakes. So at this point, I lighten the graphite again. and. I'm picking my colors right now. I was going to do a cool yellow, but I decided against it and went with the warm. I used Indian yellow, phthalo blue, and natural red. So first, uh, first wash, I decided to wet the paper and to do a wet, wet technique. This is so that I can get some background blocking and they will blend into each other. At this point, I started applying warmer colors in the foreground and uh, cooler colors in the background for the grass. This is called atmospheric perspective. In the water, I tried to make it a little bit bluer as well. And then for the background, I didn't want to paint in the fence, so I just used uh, behind it was just a bunch of tree branches. So I, I tried to ignore the fence and just do the tree branches. And then to the background tree with a shadow. And the shadow even goes a little more blue. And then here I just scribbled in some branches in the background. And at this point, I realized I shouldn't have skipped the middle to leave room for this bare tree in front of it. We will see later. So I'm sketching in the branch, uh, the bare tree in front. However, this ended up being a discontinuity of the background branches, uh, bare trees, because there's just this open window there. I should have filled it in afterwards. And at this point, this is the second wash. So a little bit more detail. And now finally the background is somewhat okay, I thought. I started on the animals. 
So originally I put in very bright colors, but it dries lighter. Also, as you add some shadows and other uh, duller colors, it will fade and become less bright. So it's not a problem if you start out with a little bit of a brighter color to begin with. And just now with this cow thing, <laughs> my video cut for a little bit. Hope you were able to see some of it at least. Um, I just put in the blocked in the colors and there are some color variations. So some blues and browns to make it more interesting. So here is after most of the things are blocked in and I tried to do a little bit more detail on the animals while also doing a very faint outline of things to make sure everything pops up a little bit more against the background. And then some shadows. So at this point the shadow is referencing the photo so the sun is actually coming from the top and to the left which is reflected on the tree as well as the background. So here I'm painting some reflections in the, in the water. And it adds a little bit more interest in the background. So at this point, the background tree seemed a little bit bare, so I decided to put in some uh, leaves. And afterwards, I proceeded back to uh, work on the animal. To deepen some of the shadows on the bottom. And also some details for the face. And then I proceeded to add a shadow for the background tree, but as you can see, I didn't reference the photo and I forgot where the light was coming from, so sorry about that. It should have gone on the other side, on, on the right hand side, because the sun is coming from the left. And here, using some uh, gouache, the white gouache, to paint in a pattern on the, on the cow. Uh, from the reference photo, he had some white spots. And also just to add some more details to the horn so that it shows up a little bit more. The notebook is um, the Cans and Mixed Media paper. And it is not a watercolor paper, therefore you cannot really expect to have too many layers or having uh, a lot of time to rework the wet paint before it dries. For small studies like this, the paper works decently well and I recommend it. Um, and this is the end of the video, thank you for watching, have a nice day!